So, you claim this game was so bad. Well, not bad, but like you should have carried this game and it's so bad that you lost it that you got a coaching, which I like that. I like the premise. So let's see what happened. Let's see if I agree that it's, you know, that you like are crushing yeah. it and, and you know, this is uh, something that we're missing. I'm going to play from your vision so that I actually get And I play Ezreal, obviously, so I know. Okay. Um, yeah. It's a champion that mechanically I very, I understand a lot. So this should be, I should be able to nitpick pretty easily. Okay, so this was a reoccurring theme in the first game. Stop using your Q if you're not going to hit people. Okay. Keep the push. This is why I said you got to learn what Ezreal does, and I don't mean that in a mean way. It's just what it is. Your passive is everything, okay? Yeah, yeah. So this you're saying don't, don't even waste the opportunity unless it's like a clear Q to poke. I'll give you examples of like of situations where it's okay. So right here, you're going to see it. So basically what's happened here is even if he moves here, wherever you throw the cue, right? And I'm, I'm with you. Some people would like shame you for flinging the cue that way. I don't even care. Right. But it's the yeah. premise that if you miss, you don't hit a minion. Yeah. Then you lose your passive stacks. You lose your passive. So why is this so important? And why is this so, uh, you know, why is this something that I'm saying is like make or break? Because with Ezreal, your passive can stack up to 50%, which is like gold value is just crazy. Right off the jump. Just having 50% attack speed is not so. But it's about the push early. Okay. Ezreal is actually surprisingly good early. But he's not good in the sense that he beats champions. He beats you on the push and then starts poking you. And it sucks. I gotcha. Yeah. That's that's really what he can do. Um, now you know, versus a lot of the uh, the meta champs like the MF and stuff like that. Like you're never going to do that. He MF will just shoot you. <laughs> yeah. If you like get too yeah, crazy. Yeah. Just e, e auto and yeah. Yeah, but but as a rule, um, and I talk about this a lot in coachings. Make the opponent prove that they're good, right? Make them make them prove to you that they win. <laughs> yeah. Right. Otherwise. It puts us in a bad spot, but the problem is here, if you're not leveraging this passive, and I promise we will go through this whole VOD, if we're, if we're not lever leveraging our passive, we're not going to be able to push fast enough. And it puts us behind. You see how it's even? Yeah. If it were me, I would have just queued the wave on repeat and just auto, auto, okay. auto, and just pick up the attack yeah. speed. I don't like getting in this position. I hate this position. Especially when we have thrash where we like really should be trying to go. Yeah, I just two. you see you see this like I get it It's a Lucian karma. I get it. They could have pushed into us and probably probably did something But I find in platinum. I can just bluff my way through a lot of the time Okay Yeah, I think I'm primarily thinking of Q is like I'm just trying to try to keep the HP as even as possible Which is I, I yeah, that's you the mean wrong HP way to do on it, champions but. Yeah, like I'm just trying to leverage, like, because because they're easy, they're gonna poke us down with Lucian Karma, like, mm -hmm. and if I can leverage Q, then I can keep it close enough that if there's an all in or a gank, maybe we have a chance. But view it like this instead. <clears throat> view it like coming in lane and say, I'm just gonna auto and Q and stay j j just like I tell the newbies, stay slightly ahead of them, put them on the back foot, right? Put them on the back foot and keep them there. The, yeah. It's way stronger of a position than the opposite. Right. Like playing here and defensively like poking and hoping that your jungler bails you out. I would rather you just win through attrition <clears throat> with like a forward shove. Of course, if you get in this situation, then you just... Our health should never go this slow either. Right. Yeah, now so, I'm just stuck using Q at max range. Yeah, and so laning, laning right off the jump. I've seen one with you on stream, and now I've seen it in this game. And it just seems like it needs work. Because you're just not leveraging the kit in the way that I want you to. I want you treating yeah. every lane like... Basically, just go into lane and say, I'm getting my stacks, and I'm autoing the wave faster than these guys. Like, that's it. Like I'm doing here to push the wave under tower. And, the, and, here's, the and here's the thing is that a lot of players, they hear me say stuff like this and they just kind of interpret it as, 
um, let the enemy team auto me and all that. No, that's the hard part is you've got to do that while dodging the autos and, and like kind of fighting yeah. for it and, and understanding that you can't just eat a bunch of autos. But yeah, as a, as a general rule, that's what we're looking for. All right, see this positioning here? You it, Players always need this refresher, so don't take this as insulting. Big waves crashing. Watch how you stand. Yeah. This is unacceptable. Like easy. Yeah. Max range Q. Do you use, do you have the manual cast that I harp on people with all the time on ADCs? Yeah. I, so like you're talking about where you can, you can show the indicator. Yeah. Yeah. I was using that in the, in the last game. I need to use it more. I have it bound to a mouse key. Anytime the wave is crashing like this, that's what you should be doing. Yeah. Cause this I just take a, a trade for no easy, reason. Easy adjustment. You literally just manual cast your Q always here. Yeah. See how you're, you, you've broken the plane, so to speak. You're half the distance. Your Q yeah. technically would be. There's your Q range. That's where we're standing. Yeah. Here's where we should be standing. You see what I'm saying? The guy shouldn't yeah. even be able to touch you in theory. That's yeah, what I'm we just need to fix. Yeah, wasting HP for no reason. Exactly. Um, this is very important. This is why I said one of the biggest issues seems to be laning, cleaning it up. Because you, you know, one thing I like about you is that you're at least viewing the game kind of cerebral in the sense that like you understand that like, yeah, I need to live to do things. Right. And obviously yeah. you wouldn't be plat. So it's, just, it's a difference between a silver player doing it and somebody who's made platinum or diamond in the past. Right. It's like, yeah. I know that you will fight things eventually, but you need to start. You need to start realizing where your, your little leaks are. Your leaks are, you're not, you're, hmm, it's attention to detail to use a military term, right? You're making yeah. your bed, but you're not making it neat. Yeah. Right. So things like this wave push in really nitpick those moments where other players would just kind of roll their eyes and do this. This is an example of you eye rolling and just doing whatever. Yeah. Please work. There we go. So this is like your eyes should be on wave state and where yeah. they are contesting this wave. This isn't an empty wave. Yeah. Visual, I want you to see this. This is a good screenshot moment of like how to make these adjustments. They're on the wave. They're confidently pushing. This isn't a weak push. It's a strong push. A strong push means the first person they see, they're going to fucking blast you. Right? Yeah. The fact that there was no alarm bells and we lose all this health is a problem. Yeah. Right? Because watch it again. It's pretty obvious what they're thinking here. They have yeah. nothing else to do and they're confident. However, if you just saw the wave pushing in by itself, your positioning is it's okay. But you could be a little lazy, right? It's fine. Yeah. Because you would want to know. You you know, you want to see a little bit more up the lane maybe or you know, maybe you want to encourage them to stay to beta gank, stuff like that. So, all these little considerations do matter. And so like you said, you lose half your HP off of a of a return, which is not good. Cleanse goes. Right, That's here? one where because he tr he was so adamant that we won earlier, it was we were trying like, to be yeah. Kill. yeah, this was like forcing because he was I mean, he was, he's like spam pinging the whole game, right? <laughs> and so like that's part of my problem is like I know I shouldn't go in there because I don't know where karma is. Well, let's talk about how we could play it aggressively without committing like this. Fuck, I didn't mean to press backspace again. That's my bad. Okay. Passives fully stacked. So the E is the mistake. So basically yeah. you just auto, you can follow and, and poke. Yeah. It's you're e on top of it. And then when you miss, that's what's going to happen. Right. Yeah. You just get hit with mantra Q and you can't go anywhere. Yeah. So here it's fine. I think you're underestimating that, that like you can just walk up and poke. Yeah. The other thing, and here's a good little thing to remember too, is that like Thresh isn't going to get one shot, dude. Yeah. So like what I tell people all the time is just bait your team or frame it like this as an ADC. Here's, here should be an eye opening moment for you as an ADC. 
their health bar is your health bar. You're playing. So I, I mean, I, like this I isn't your health bar. Him. This, yeah. yeah, this is your health bar. Use their yeah. health. It's yours. Do you think yeah. he wins if you die ever? I mean, like I said, yeah, it no. sounds kind of common sense, but like he yeah. never wins if you die. So are you, is it better to position behind him there too? No, you're fine to walk up like you did. Uh-huh. Just Save your eat. E. Just don't eat. Just calm. Yeah. You're you're in control of the fight. Like you can you can walk up and I want you to see how you played it. Like here's the here's the niece brain on Ezreal, okay? If I were you. So I'm just gonna show you how like my brain interprets this. So he decides he's gonna just do like this tilt walk up shit, right? I'm not really like I, I'm not convinced we even lose. I, I'm okay with it. That's what my brain's saying right now. Like, I'm okay yeah. with this. So he walks up. See how he's walking? So immediately, I would just walk here like that. Okay? So I'll just draw it out with you in, like, slow motion here. So I'm walking like this with him. And I'm autoing, by the way, as I move. And then I'm autoing Lucian. And you see how you're flinging your abilities here? Yeah. You don't have to. You can legitimately yeah. just auto him first and let him freak out on you, combo, and then either E back or E forward depending on how it feels. Yeah. The problem is you're not giving yourself any any flexibility of play at all. Yeah. You're just you're just Eing in and going, well, if I don't hit WQ, I'm fucked. Basically, yeah. you're making an assumption that like you're just gonna pop the guy, which almost is never the case. And I'm trying to imagine, like, even if you fully comboed him, I don't think it hits. I don't think you kill him. So that's the no. thing is you would need to land some autos first. You didn't you didn't set up the execute the correct way, and you just kind of, like, shrugged your shoulders, said, fuck it. So, all right. Now, here we go. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes. So laning needs work, and I already went over that. So yeah. now, why are we here? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, we're not really accomplishing anything. Have you ever t seen me make my little statement about early, mid, and late? Let's hear it. So just real quick. Early is plates, okay? And tower. Mid, take objectives. So like ping pong between the objectives and take the outer turrets, okay? So all early does is plates, towers, and well, technically it's like Rift and Drake, okay? I want to write this down too for you. Let me ask you a question. Is there any tower down here? Yeah, no, there's none. Is there any Drake down here? No. What about the mid tower? Is there any mid tower there? Yeah, there's there still mid. What about this? There's no rift, is there? I don't think there's rift right now. So right it now would show we're it still, on vision, right? yeah, right now we're still towards the tail end of the early game, transitioning to mid. Okay. Yeah. So this is where we are. Now <clears throat> you have two choices, and I'll go over the mid. Too, but you have two choices we transition into mid you can sit bottom and do nothing here right or alternatively you can do something that gets you money which what gets you money is going up here yeah right that's what i want so you guys should be after you clear tower and you know there's no dragon you just need to go to top and clear the outer so now you've cleared the outers and you cleared the objectives like the dragon and the rift so what do you do you wait. Okay? That's all you do in mid-game. You just fucking wait. You wait until the next objective's up. So, if it were me on Ezreal, I would have just left and I would have started marching to top. Two reasons. One, do you think Scion is enjoying this? Uh, he was tilted too. Exactly. You know why? Take a guess. It's range melee. This fucking lame-ass shit. Right? Yeah. Look at this fucking ugly champion. He has a fucking hoodie on. The onesie. Right? Look at this onesie ass. This guy's playing this champion, losing to this stupid shit. It's dumb, right? So get him out of this. Yeah. You, the way you get him out of this is you, after you take tower, you rotate. Now, this goes deep. Do you think Kennen will know that you guys are coming top? Not at this level. No. Barely in the high, high diamond, they barely even will figure yeah. out the rotation, right? So what you do is after you take the tower, you this needs to be a new rule for you. After you take the tower, you take this thing, you back, you go up here, and you say hello, yeah. hello Scion. But you do it sneakily, right? You come yeah. along the bushes, but you it, remember that hard push that they did down here with like yeah. the Lucian R and all that shit. 
It's kind of what you do. You march up there confident and like sneaky. Yeah. And you try to fight this guy. Now, if you take this again, what do we do? Wait, we just sit and chill. And all we're waiting on in solo queue, all you're waiting on is you're waiting for these objectives. So what's the closest objective that the value objective dragon or rift? Yeah, it should be dragon. I mean, rift, uh, rift my bad. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is why top side is, is the way to play it. So what you do is you knock this tower down and then you collect waves top from time to time. Or you go mid and you have Ari go top. It depends on your pinging, your ping list, right? If you can get her to rotate up there and grab it. I just assist ping and ping that and then ping her and just kind of communicate. And if they don't, I grab the wave. So this is how you maintain your CS. Yeah. Either you cover mid and try to move them or you just do it yourself and grab farm along the way. But you are doing what in the mid game? Waiting. Waiting, right? Now, what are we waiting till? Well, Late game. So late game is simply Baron, Soul, Elder, or just like an ace, right? Like a straight team yeah. fight ace. That's it. That's all we're waiting for. Anything else is pointless. This is a really important concept for you because you're at, you're at the level where this type of stuff is the stuff. If you hyper focus on these little details, these strategies and like stick to them really tightly, the game rewards you immediately. So for example, yeah. all the shit that we covered today, if you see a Lucian hard pushing and you keep your health higher, that increases your win rate by percentages. If you do it consistently, if you, as soon as you finish tower, you rotate to top and you, you take the, the outers and the, the first objectives and then you wait and ping, I call it ping pong. So here you would, it would go rift dragon rift or so we go rift dragon, baron dragon. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just ping pong. So rift dragon, baron dragon, right? And you just ping pong and wait until you get one of these big objectives like soul, yeah. like baron, stuff like that. And then you can try to end the game off of those. And, st and then if you don't end the game, what do you think I'm going to tell you you do? You wait. You wait again for the next big one because you don't want to throw. Yeah. But anything deep in enemy territory is almost pointless. You could put, I mean, you could push to get yeah. vision, but you know, weird sieges and stuff. You, you, you could win off those, but it's not reliable. That's all it comes back to. Yeah, yeah, too um, much variance. Yeah, it's just you know you, you can't trust the people to care as much as we do, and and honestly, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mechanical or not even mechanical. It's a bit of a mental skill gap, right? If yeah. you're one of the if there's one or two of you on this team that knows to put the game away by getting a baron or getting an elder or whatever, and we play for these win cons instead of like pushing like goobers, normally you'll just yeah. not only will you win more, you'll win faster because the baron yeah. is what ends the game. So when we go yeah. down here, I know that was a long tangent, but when we go down here, we don't really get any value. And when you go mid, you don't really get much value either. What you should be doing, and I get it, like you kind of had to answer this here. Yeah. But what we should be always doing is squaring up towards top. Right now, we're just doing the NA ram. And the NA ram is random. It feels random, doesn't it? Yeah, it, that, that's what it feels like every game gets stuck into where every I get stuck going either mid or like bot because I'm just trying to find somewhere where one of my teammates isn't because they're not going to listen to. Yes. At least I don't I don't have confidence that they're going to listen to my ping. And well, there you are probably some don't ping games enough. where you no, can No tell. one pings enough. I can tell you're not pinging enough. Yeah, I, I that's probably just like part of it is like part of my not feeding bot mentality is also not tilting my team. Where it's like, I feel like I just play defense and and not enough offense. Like, so where I don't want to, like, ping and tilt people. No, it doesn't. Pings don't tilt people. Unless you're pinging yeah. them. It, it, unless question you're pinging, marks. Yeah. Unless you're question mark pinging them or pinging their items after they die or something. Yeah. So, look at that. There's not an Ezreal in this list. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I can already tell you're not pinging enough. Yeah. But don't confuse not pinging enough with not making a decision. I'm being hard right. on you for a reason. It tells me you're not making a fucking choice. Yeah. Make a choice and then ping it. So yeah. now you have the framework though. So the next time you play, you're going to try your best to ping it. Oh, we got to talk about this uh, item. What is this item? Uh, oh my I'm god! I'm trying not to die from cannon. Yeah, oh it's it's a it's a god. beta move, man. Oh it's it's the hooded god. onesie ass 
flash onto me. But the, the thing is, though, the thing is, though, is that that shouldn't even be scaring you of all your concerns. It should be Rengar. Yeah. Rengar, Akshan, Lucian. This is a terrible you item. See, what I should have you have beta bought? moves from beginning to end of games. <laughs> beta moves. So no, so no, uh, so no, uh, red pill moves. Yeah, I mean, again, it's like I just play not to lose and hope that, like, I contribute. Well, no, it's not even that you built the defensive item. It's the fact that you're building the wrong one. Yeah, GA. No, just build a fucking frozen heart. Yeah, true. You can just go to that. Just build a frozen heart and then uh, build. Um, I don't know. Let me let me see here. It'd be frozen heart into. Oh, I'm dumb. Grudge. I forget that that item exists. So yeah, frozen heart, grudge, and then GA done. Yeah. GA or Zonia. I think I end up, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I might end up selling it, but I don't. I don't remember. But yeah, it's a bad item. So basically, and, and one thing that I'm kind of glossing over in this description is that it is okay to siege as long as you know what the goal is. Yeah. Don't siege like an idiot. Siege like somebody who's pushing people under and harassing them to set up vision here. Yeah. Right? I don't want you to think Nice told me to never leverage my lead. Because if you watch me play Ezreal, I go all the way down here before I do all this yeah. shit. But it's about yeah. like I'm... It's in transit. Yeah. So we get the soul anyways, and we're still, you have your frozen heart. So this is where you lose me. So it should have been frozen heart. Drop this. This item is like the worst item in the game. Okay. Okay. This yeah, item. Yeah. Don't even buy this. If you're going to buy this, just do a Zonia's later. Yeah. Just do this. Whatever. Like unless, it, and, it, and I know what you're thinking. Is there ever a time? Yes. If they were all AP, if this guy was AP and yeah, this guy yeah. was AP, and then you had Lucian left, this build it, you could sell it to me because you'd be like, ah, niece, you know, there's a bunch of AP people and it just makes sense to me. I'd be like, okay, fair. This does not make sense. You can't justify this awful item in this spot. And I never go off. If I'm going off on you and itemization, you know, it's, it's fucked. Yeah. Cause I like never yeah. bitch about no, this stuff. There's not really in a, yeah, I mean, no. like I could try to make an excuse that it's from the break and like Ma used to be, I don't know if it's bad now or what, but Ma used to be cool, but yeah, it's not now. It's fucking, it's the opposite of cool now. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, you know, really baggy it's pants. It's like hoodie wearing when I was in, as an, as an when, I was, when I was in high school, really baggy <laughs> pants were cool. Okay. And if I wore really baggy pants right now, people would be like, dude, are you fucking, are You're you from the stone pants age? At the bottoms with some chains yeah. off the are back. You, yeah. Are you from a cave, right? Like. Frosted tips. I saw those, I saw those on the walls of a cave. Like that's a cave painting style. This frozen heart grudge. If you based, you would have had frozen heart and grudge probably before this fight here. And then, yeah, we should be poking more actively. So you get Baron finally 31 minutes deep. So how do we lose? Let's see. So now you've got Baron. Yeah. Elders in 47 seconds. Let's see if your team is pinging it. Nah, there's not a single ping. I think we try to end and we we throw. So, remember that list I wrote down. At no yeah. point, at no point did it include just like you know hard push to end or any of that, right? Yeah. The most important things are these. So, I know what you're thinking. Well, when do I, as a player, when do I feel good then? about sieging right well you could have see you could have did this exact same siege so With long elder. as you don't risk this for it yeah so if we go back in time you have baron as you leave base your job i tell everybody hold tab this is the part where i say ping the i i always if you see my videos where i say, I say brainwash people yeah brainwash them i go like this click 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 right on the elder the timer click 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 right i do that yeah. constantly as i'm leaving base click 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 10 seconds goes by click 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 assist ping once or twice right click 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 i'm trying to get them 
to understand that, hey, I know you guys think what you're doing matters, but, yeah, you know, we need to get this thing. So here, this is where you guys all fail, right here. Yeah. Actually, you don't even, him. you really don't even fail yet. You fail there. We should be backing now. Yeah, and you just, just turn around. Yeah, just walk backwards. Yeah. yeah. League is a game of, of, of steps. Okay. And here we are, right? We're doing our steps. Well, you're really fat, all right? And if you try to take two steps, guess what happens? You fall right back down. Yeah. I don't know if you're really fat or not, but the point is... You know, I got that dad bod going, <laughs> you know. When you get two kids, <laughs> shit creeps up on you. <laughs> So like, don't, don't try to skip steps, right? Try to go incrementally. So the problem is you guys try to go too crazy in solo queue. Going too crazy is normally recipe for, I mean, the game's designed that way. The game's designed for you to kind of see a light at the end of every step that you think you can do another thing. Yeah. That's how the game is coded. It's basically like, go ahead and keep pushing. This is spawning, right? Go yeah. ahead and keep pushing. Nothing bad will happen to you. You guys are really strong. Yeah. Right? Now watch what happens when you die. Yeah, they get, they get elder. Watch the gold at the top. So actually, I should back up to where you guys died. Okay. Yeah, we watch the gold. It was actually before that. It was here. It was way before. Okay, here we go. You guys are up, plus whatever stats you get from Dragon. You get up to about 8k or 7k. Yeah. Right? And then... By the end, when it's all said and done, and we'll say that's when you guys are on the map again. So, on map... Yeah, they close it to 2k. Just like that. You guys are... Actually, hold on. You're still not on map yet. There. That's when you finally are able to do something again. So yes, it, you are now 1.5k 1, 1. roughly. And then some because yeah. again, the waves are pushing to them. So yeah, so... Yeah. And they have elders so we can't really fight them. So remember that analogy with the steps and I said, you're right back where you started. Yeah. It's literally what it is. I think it's a, I think it's an interesting, um, it's an, it's an interesting macro check. Uh, once you get to late game, it's almost like, it's almost like if you don't have somebody on the team who's constantly aware that one of these things is coming and is planning and like moving and position because right now would you say you guys could fight and, and be justified well not well not and especially not if they have elder but there, there's no reason to fight because of like if we're playing towards objectives you know we're not accomplishing anything by walking at them and fighting them well let me let me frame it like this then you're right i'm just saying that if you die does anything really happen uh right yeah no not really i mean if they have a wave but they they can't Right, because this is all yeah. pushing. So, like, technically, if you guys wanted to int like you did and go for objectives, you're not losing anything anytime soon. Do you see yeah. where I'm going with this? Yeah. So, the question that you should ask yourself and what I tell people to ask before they get deep into a fight, they should ask themselves, what do I lose if I'm wrong? What is at stake? So yeah, that's I when mean, you hold tab and, and check. And if there's anything that's in like a minute range, you go, oh, if I die, I lose that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That will unlock this whole late game, the late game decision-making stuff. You would have positioned, your team might have died, but you would have positioned and pinged your team in advance like I do. And there's a chance that you save some of them. There's plenty of games where I play in this ELO and I have this game, but I'm normally alive. Just yeah. being like, ah. My team sucks, but I tried, right? In this case, you didn't. 
And so your team dies. And so you don't have the, the same type of agency, right? Yeah. But that's why I'm saying it's almost like a, it's like a macro skill gap thing where if we don't have some sort of uh, visibility on it at what's at stake, then we get in trouble. Another yeah. little tip before I go is that ultra late game survival, like trading kills is very, very dangerous late game. Like right, it, it obviously it's danger, dangerous in general, but yes, yes, that's exactly it. And one more little thing is that um, poke champs just have like infinite damage as long as they're up. Yeah. So yeah. you need to back up and calibrate like where everybody is before you decide to do this type of shit. Yeah. That's so like, there was just no spatial awareness on that one. Yeah, that's. I think I'm just like, oh, I have Elder. Now I'm not going to be flaccid. And then I yeah, just... Yeah, you were fine, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ignorantly use E from just, like, losing map awareness, and, you know? Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a fair assessment, though, to be like, oh, I have this, so I'm going to step into people. Yeah. I think it's fine. It's just uh, you needed to know that they were contained back here before you did yeah. it. Yeah. If they're contained back here, you don't care. Also, again, yeah, itemization hurts us a lot. Cool. Well, that ran longer than I thought, but I think it was a good talk. So, if what are you gonna do now? Like, how do you view mid or early, mid, and late now, though? Well, yeah, I mean, like, I think I need to just utilize pings, and like, yeah, you're at about a ten percent, like not even. Yeah, like conceptually, I get playing around objectives as a, as an idea i just have zero confidence in my team but you I, like i've seen you do it where you force pings and people listen and it's like normally it's it's like on a similar idea as you're you're posturing aggressively in lane to make them prove that they're good you know yeah if you if you're like taking control of the map and just going towards objectives kind of like how scion is just running at the inhib like everybody follows him because he's doing it you know yes. like the yes. most aggressively so everybody's like well i guess i have to follow him yes whereas like i should be taking over that role as like well let's just grab the objective instead yes you need to view it as like i said it's decision paralysis you're not making a choice and you're just you're using the excuse and i'm not trying to flame yeah. you it's just how it is everybody does it you're using the excuse oh my team doesn't go well yeah that's where you immediately as soon as you catch yourself using that logic you gotta go fuck i need to ping him yeah I do it. I do it all the time. I'm like, yeah, he didn't follow me and I didn't ping it. So I didn't know that that was the move, right? It's just what it is. Like you, you just have to recognize that it's like, no, no, don't say they didn't follow you. Don't say they didn't do the right thing. Be like, did you plan it though? Because yeah. it's one thing to, to, to know after in hindsight that your teammates didn't follow you. It's another thing entirely to go, this is the plan. I'm pinging it in advance. And if they don't follow you, then I do yeah. random surrender vote, stuff like that. Like I will yeah. do everything to get them to listen. If they don't listen, uh, then I'll scrap it and move on. But it's the fact that we can always hold ourselves accountable to a certain extent because we didn't take a leadership role. So right. as far as we know, we could have won the game if we just if someone took the lead nobody on that team was taking any lead you pretty much nailed it the scion was running at the, the base and thresh was uh, question mark pinging but no pings of value anywhere yeah yeah you end up just following the the guy who's in trouble because you call like, that well, the bug zapper the one. yeah exactly everybody goes no, to the I electricity i mean it's like similar in 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 gambling you know like if if you're you, you follow your fundamentals no matter what and don't rely on like you know every outcome exactly it's yeah yeah with your job that we were talking about before yes same concept so the more that you like you said conceptually start to get it then you'll start to realize like oh i'm not pinging enough here and then you'll start yeah. working it cool good session today dude thank you so much yeah well i'll, I'll uh well maybe we'll do it again in like a couple weeks when uh we'll see if there's any improvement yeah don't do it unless you're pinging like a psycho I'm just going to bind it to my mouse and I, yeah, I, you know. I tell ADCs and supports are like, you must ping. And that's like, it's at your level. It is, it's a required skill, I think. Yeah. Cool. Good sesh. Thank you so right, much. Man. You bet. Later. Peace.